beauty news family welcome to beauty news updates yep so this is the 7th of may edition mm -hmm. and we're going to talk about some updates yep so things that we've spoken about in the past mm -hmm. i think there might be a couple of things that are brand new but they have already been released yeah they're relevant yeah they've been damn these brands coming out being like releasing tomorrow and mm -hmm. you're like fuck <laughs> yeah you're like we filmed the day before you but <laughs> yeah um so anyway that's what updates is for we we're keeping you updated so yes. if you're new here i'm kat i'm Haley. hello um and let's just get started shall yes we? let's do it so color pop yeah so this is one of those that it's like bam we are releasing this this thursday or yeah. friday go get them and we're yeah. like damn it so there's a few things it's their birthday month mm-hmm Similar to my birthday month. Yeah. And um, so there's a few things that they're bringing out. The first one is all month they're having a buy one, get one free Super Shock Shadow. Mm -hmm. um, so with this code that's on the screen, it's B O G O M G. Yeah. Um, so use that code, you get one, buy one, get one free. Also, they have re released. Uh, discontinued shades that people have been requesting to be brought back so for this month they also um they've got what 10 shades that yeah. they're, they're re-releasing temporarily so i think you... that's a good idea yeah it's kind of sometimes it is cool to have things come back li in like a limited run mm -hmm. when people were begging for it i mean these were all you know they've been around for a long time took them away to replace them with new stuff but here you go. Happy but, birthday yeah. to you too. But also, everything comes in like a, it's a bit of a cyclical thing. Yeah. Um, you can. They might go. Oh, this powder blue, not popular. Bright yellow, not popular. Not popular. We're getting rid of them. But now they're the popular colors. <laughs> they so are. it sort of makes sense to bring them back um, as the sort of trends roll back around. Yes. They've also got um, fourteen new long wear matte soft blurring. Lux lipsticks. Yeah, so these are the matte Lux lips. Yeah. So similar to their uh, Lux lips that they brought out a while ago, which were more of a creamy formula, this is a matte version. So these um, have been released, and um, there's 14 shades of them, and I think these are permanent products, not yeah. just for the month of May. Dominique Cosmetics, uh, we know that the Lemonade palette is coming, and mm -hmm. we're still waiting on that. But there was an image shown, it, it looked like um, a marketing image that was being taken of a model applying a liquid lipstick. Mm. So that could be something else that's coming from the brand as well. Doing a sneaky Laura Lee Los Angeles. Yes. It's like, oh, I'm trying to distract you with a new palette. Bam, we've got some lip products coming too. So yeah. um, there we go. Mm-hmm. Uh, Mother's Day, so it's the same time this year for the US and Australia. We know that the UK was earlier. But... It, yes, um, but we are seeing some Mother's Day related things being released. Mm -hmm. So from Dose of Colours, we've got two sets. We've got Marvelous Mum set. It contains a Marvelous Moves palette. Is that what it's called? I think so. I think so. And uh, two liquid lipsticks plus one of their like crayon style lipsticks. And a makeup bag and then they've got the baked for mum set which has the was it baked browns i don't remember can't but remember anyway yeah, the brown similar. one not the mauve yeah. one so you've got a mauve set and a brown set um so if you want to get your mum some makeup or yourself you can so those packs are 79 us dollars each but it's a value of 102 dollars so it's available it's while stocks last some more mother's day things um from glass house my favorite babies um this year's mother's day candle is casablanca which i think we did mention we this. have yeah, mentioned and it. I smelt in store and, oh and my it's God. amazing so it's a velvet musk and bergamot but Oh my god. It's so nice. I don't feel like that description quite does it justice. No. It's just amazing. Yeah. So it's got juicy blackberry, sensual musk, and bergamot. And it, oh my god. It's, it's fruity and kind of fresh. It's so good. It's amazing. It's just... Mm. Yeah. But mm -hmm. we did smell install. We love it. But yeah. we're talking about it because it's something else. There is something else. So 
last year the fragrance was Florence and you might be wondering why are we talking about last year's because they're bringing it back yeah. it was so popular that um, they're bringing it back it's wild peonies and lily mm. um, and they're going to have this available for a limited run um, so they expect to have enough stock to last up to six months or right. until it sells out yeah basically all right, uh, months and months and months and months ago, probably going on six months ago. No, longer. Yeah, it probably is longer. It scares me. Yeah, we saw um, a sneak peek image uh, that a makeup artist took uh, of three duo compacts from Fenty. Now, that was all taken down off the internet, naughty, naughty, wasn't allowed to leak it. Um, and... We've still got an image because we save stuff. Um, but we have now seen those same duos pop up in a video that Fenty, not Fenty, Rihanna did for Vogue. So for their website, she did like a get ready with me using Fenty products and she showed these pan products, she showed two of them. We've seen three in the sneak peek. So there's at least three coming. Um, now she didn't say if they were eyeshadows or face products, but mm -hmm. she used them as both. So she used the pink on her eyes and then she used the orange and the pink on her cheeks. And then with this sort of gray sort of, um, silvery it's like a taupe and then like a bluey color yeah um she used that as a highlighter so i don't know if these are highlighters that you can use on your eyes or if they're eyeshadows that you can use on your face you know technically you can use most powders everywhere unless they've got pigments that aren't eye safe or lip safe yeah but yeah i don't know what they're being marketed as as but yeah we've yeah. seen them they are a legitimate thing we can now talk about them because rihanna showed them yeah um they won't threaten us with legal action again <laughs> um, but another thing she showed was a lip gloss that's coming out now this is a pink lip gloss with like a gold sheen to it so um she applied it you can see that on the lips it does throw a lot of like light reflecting gold so that's what we've seen from um fenty coming up very soon and if rihanna is showing it it is coming very very soon yep definitely. we've learned that as soon as she starts showing things you'll start seeing marketing images and they'll be like it's releasing in a week yep. so yeah they'll be coming soon a little update from Jeffree Star. He's taken some of his popular lipsticks and turned them into the Velua liquid lip formula. So yeah. the shades are allegedly Thickest Thieves, Birthday Suit and Skin Tight. So, so yeah, these were the, the ammunition lipsticks yeah. being turned into permanent liquid lipstick formulas. Yes, and there are some shades that are now permanently available by popular demand. Calabasas, Virginity, Christmas Cookie, Candy Ass, Poinsettia, and Pumpkin Pie. Yeah, so, so they're already available. Yes. Um, months ago, we talked about Cogendo bringing out um, a new foundation, the Aqua Foundation. However, it turns out it is actually um, a reformulation. Oh, okay. So, yeah, but there it is. Cogendo are uh, like renowned for making amazing foundations. Yeah. So if you're a fan, reformulated, probably it's probably better. Than before. better. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Kat Von D has shown the full collection of the 10 year anniversary thing that's coming out or already just released. Yeah. If you're in the US, it's just released. Um, we've seen the dates, we've spoken about them. I'll have them on the screen, but I know they're coming to Australia on the 16th. Um, so they are sort of rolling out and then I think in other countries in like November, oh, yeah. whatever, we're getting them, they're eventually rolling out. Yeah. But we did see the eyeshadow palette, which we've spoken about at length. There's also a vegan brush set. There's a highlighter in um, gold packaging. There's her um, liquid liner, the tattoo liner in limited edition packaging, um, a limited edition, what are they called? Studded kiss Lipstick. lipsticks. Yeah. Um, so the shade is just a red. It looks, it looks pretty boring, um, but it's a, it's a red. And then also we have actually seen this being sneak peeked ages ago, but it's part of the 10 year anniversary collection in limited edition packaging. It's an everlasting liquid lipstick in gold school. Uh -huh. Now you might remember, I think when she was releasing new 
um, shades of her Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks. I think we saw the swatch for this. We did. But it's coming out in this collection. So if you did want a very glittery um, matte longwear liquid lipstick in nice fancy packaging, that's coming. And then we've seen a few more images of the train case as well. So we've seen the design on the outside, but inside is that nice like um, uh, red, red felt. Yeah. So um, yeah, it's all coming no nice. it's a thing if you cool. can go if you're in the u.s you can go out and get it now perfect uh we've also seen this new release but once again it was uh new shades tomorrow so it's already been <laughs> released kylie cosmetics has released uh three new lip kits um we can see them here it's like a nice pinky nude uh that one is called one wish uh which i think she's bringing back the shade which was limited edition and bringing it in the lip kit i think right. Anyway, and then there's also this kind of corally pink, which is called Show Off. And then we have this beautiful... People are saying that this looks like the Fenty lipstick. The dark oh. sort of grey mm -hmm. uh, blue. And this one's called Shady. Right, yep. So already available. Cool. Another Mother's Day thing. Um, we've got more lip packs from Lime Crime. So last year yeah. they did these... Um, I can't remember what it stood for. The MSLF. Mums I'd like to follow. That's right. Mums I'd like to follow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sure. So this is Mums I'd like to follow too. And essentially it is a four-piece um, lip pack. I like that they've named the names like mum names. Like yeah. Peggy, Sophia, Sophia Amber, Amber, and, and Pamela. Pamela. Yeah. So I, don't, I think some of these are actually... Are they permanent ones? I think they are. So they probably yeah. just chose the shades that sound, had I, names I, like I, a mum. Yeah, I, I think that's pretty much what yeah. they've done. Yeah. All right. The next thing is by Model Co. It's an update. <laughs> we saw this about a year ago once yeah. again. Um, I'll let you take this because it angers me. It angers me too. So prepare yourselves for some rage. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. So Karl Lagerfeld is getting together with Model Co. And releasing a collection of awesome stuff that you're going to fall over your feet to get to. Um, they like Pez dispensers. Oh, it's just, it hurts my brain. So the list of things that they're releasing are lip lights. Now these are um, lip products that have like a light up LED and a mirror yeah. in them. Like if you're in Australia, you, you used to be able to get these from like Sports Girl. Yeah. Um, some really kind of tacky yeah makeup brands yeah. well they're very tacky yeah. Uh, yeah 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 uh anyway there's going to be eight matte versions eight gloss versions and four special effect top coats mm -hmm. um then there's a liquid liner volumizing mascara a fiber brow gel mm -hmm. crayon duo a highlighter and brushes and it looks like there's going to be a collectible mm -hmm. eyeshadow palette all right. And, and a mini lip, mini kit. lip kit. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, look, this list, even though it sounds comprehensive, why are there multiple colors of highlighter here in this image? So I think there's more to it. It's quite an extensive range. I yeah. do want to mention, though, that Model Co. is an Australian brand, um, and I think they're trying to branch out by collabing with, like, throwing a lot of money, I'd assume, at some bigger names. They yeah. had that Hayley Baldwin. Hayley Baldwin collection that was last year and it pretty much went straight to the bargain bin. It because did. no one bought it. They and this is gonna be the same. For some reason Mecca picked it up. Oh, oh my god. Yeah, it was not good. But they got rid of it quick smart. The but problem with Model Co is look, I have no problem with these sort of collaborations. And I know some people don't like Karl Lagerfeld and that's fine. Like I respect whatever you feel regarding that but things like this can be popular people can find them interesting and want to buy them but the products aren't really they're not that good. great they don't warrant the very hefty price tag do you know what it'd be like it's like the equivalent and this is sounds demeaning to essence which is not supposed to be yeah but it's almost like essence quality and price well should be price range yeah then they're collabing with a big name mm -hmm. and they're charging bare minerals prices yeah that's, that's what happens that's and it's what, not yeah it's not cool so yeah. i don't support this i think this looks cheap and tacky this looks like really bad star wars like merchandise i would have preferred 
model co to take the money that they've thrown into this and invest in making their products better yeah because if you've got good products they will sell themselves and word spreads yeah i think model co do have a habit of believing that it's all about how you market a product it's not no because word of mouth spreads and the word of mouth that i like to spread because i've tried a lot of model co in my time especially when i started getting into blogging Mm. their products are really really cheap and but they're they're expensive reflect it so for me um yeah their word of mouth is not good yeah and they should focus more on the products look there are some products here that may have potential maybe they've put a lot of effort into um you know reformulating highlighters and whatnot yeah but i don't actually have much faith in the collection no neither do i and that has to go on past experience with using the brand Mm -hmm. you know and Fool me once, yeah. shame on you. Fool me twice, shame, shame on, me. on me. And that that's pretty much how it is. Yeah. So, uh, right. Anyway, we'll We're moving see. on. We'll We're moving s- on. Because yeah. I'm not going to try that shit. Anyway, no. moving on. <laughs> uh, Too Faced has shown some more of their uh, releases from their 20-year anniversary collection. Mm-hmm. So this is coming out next year. Um, and we have seen a lipstick. Now, a lot of people hate this. I actually don't hate it that much. Um, it is like a really bright, like 80s pink lipstick with yeah. glitter and glittery packaging and their old school Too Faced logo. Yeah. Now, there's a video of someone swatching it. She would have applied a shit ton of this <laughs> yeah. because this is like, she's got it like caked on, but yeah. it looks kind it of looks fun. It looks cool, doesn't it? Drag queens, and no shape, this is a compliment. Drag yeah. queens will be buying They'll this in bulk. They'll be smashing it. Yeah, too. and yeah. I sort of don't hate it like i'm not into the metallic lip trend i'm not really into the lip glitter trend but if you make it a really really bold statement color i kind of don't hate it it's not as if you're going to be wearing this to the office no yeah but you know each their own yeah yeah it we'll see yeah but another thing that we have seen more recently we saw a little sneak peek of a little portion of this it was very very blurry and we thought it said um, circa 2018 and maybe circa uh, 1998 and we were correct yeah um, so what this is it's a big eyeshadow palette where they're looking at I believe their original 10 eyeshadows mm. from 1998 and then they are sort of um, so they've got the originals and then they've got the originals reinvented yeah so what is interesting okay. about this is that they haven't just taken the shade and reformulated it to maybe a better formula. They've actually made it um, sort of work well together. Yeah. So, like, an original is Ice Queen, which looks like a, like a lilac sort of matte. Yeah. And then the reinvented one is a really shimmery, dark, bluey purple. Yeah. So it's like they've made them work well together. They're not just you know, doubling up on it. Yeah, it's not the same colour. No. In the same pan or in a, a different pan with yeah. a better formula. So yeah. you're not buying one shit eyeshadow yeah. and one good one. They complement. They complement yeah. each other. Which yeah. is cool. I think it's interesting. It is. I think I think it's kind of it's a, a twist on things that like wh- how how much can you change up a palette? Like we yeah. we see so many every year. And you hear everyone say it, oh my God, it looks the same as this, the same as that, same as this. And yeah, they do. Mm -hmm. But I kind of like how they've gone, all right, well, you know. We're going to... We're going to... We're going to keep doing what we do, but we're going to put a little twist on it. Yeah, but I really like that they've taken their first 10 shades and then they have turned it into a palette and sort of complemented it well with mm-hmm. stuff that might be a little bit more trendy now. Yes, yeah. 20 years ago, what was trendy? It was not, as not trendy, trendy these days. Now. Yeah. So, but they've made a really unique looking palette here. It's got some sort of like orangey shades. It's got a forest green, some yeah. taupes, some pinks, because it's two-faced, some purples, <laughs> yeah. some bluey colors, and like blacks and whites and stuff. Yeah. So this is very different from what we're seeing currently in the market. It is. So, and you know, two-faced are good at perpetuating um, bringing same, out the same, 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 yeah. same, and this is this is interesting. If the quality is nice, I'll probably buy it. Yeah, look, I'll I'll definitely be swatching this in store. The, yeah, uh, I'm gonna say this though: those fucking half pan eyeshadows. Yeah. Fuck off. Yeah. Don't don't 
You know what you should have done? You should have taken that half pan and been like, yeah, 1998. No, we'll leave that in 1998. <laughs> or never had to return. Or put like two pans in one yeah, area and be like, so you have we, that distinct line. We learned from our mistakes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we've come far, guys. Oh, yeah. Um, speaking of brands that have not learned from their mistakes, oh, wow. let's talk about Urban Decay. We've seen swatches and more details of their light beam eyeshadow palette that a lot of people thought was an April Fool's joke. <laughs> No, it's real. Um, so they are talking that they, they are sort of selling this oh, as being wow. sunset vibes for your eyes. Capture the gilded glow of the setting sun with our all with our all new light beam eyeshadow palette featuring five brand new eyeshadows. So these are all new shades. So if you are an avid uh, Urban Decay fan, these are not duplicates, but they are still boring as fuck. And um, the swatches. Just confirm my belief that boring as fuck. Um, I have to say, though, I put these swatches on Instagram. Yeah. And the first two comments, someone was like, yawn or something along those lines. And the next person was like, oh, my God, I love it. I want to get it. So yeah. if you are into, like, very, very wearable, very, let's say, basic, but basic's not a bad thing. No, When it comes not. to makeup, it's, look, if something works and it looks yeah. well and good, good on the eyes and it works with your coloring and whatnot and you look at this and go oh i would wear these to work every single day look yeah. there's a place for it but urban decay man you are going backwards i look i am quite surprised by this to yeah. be honest it just i'm like why yeah it seems a bit irrelevant doesn't it it does seem if a this was in a tiny con- little little travel palette yeah. like maybe like the naked basic sort of hard yes. pan really small and condensed you kind of go that's an ace travel but palette. you've just taken five small eyeshadows and made it like something that takes up a lot of space it's a chunky like okay Why travel so chunky? i don't know but but travel there's palettes no, brush you in want, there? no there's nothing to justify it unless they're really deep pans yeah. you get like five grams in each um but travel palettes should be very sturdy and very sleek yeah. and if this was a travel palette maybe in the long pan so they do only take up what's like a maybe a deck of cards yeah. kind of space totally fine with that but yeah. as it is i don't get it look uh, those little um like naked mini palettes mm. i really like them i think they're great for travel but they are really really like bland they're super yeah bland. and they're all majority matte which i sort yeah, of understand yeah. like but I, they should bring out I am, versions. yeah i can respect that they did like the full matte thing like that's cool whatevs yeah didn't stop me from buying them i still like them yeah but it does limit me because i do like a little bit of everyday sparkle so you know i this definitely should have been in yeah. one of those little formats. Yeah, I agree. Like, and if they started building on that, like, you know, handbag size yeah. um, eyeshadow palettes, yeah. you could make, you know, nude ones to the, or colorful ones or cool tone ones or whatever, yeah. make a mini smoky one mm-hmm. because the big smoky palette oh clearly didn't work. Like, no, it was a great it palette. But it was a great palette. It was a great palette. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Yeah, if you can find on sale, go buy it. It yeah. was a great palette. But... You know, if they, they could really diversify if they just make them out yeah. to be little travel palettes. And they don't take up much space in no, store they don't. either. They don't take much space in your store, collection. And they're storage. so sturdy. Yeah, they're really good. They are good palettes. Can I just, this is not a good palette. No, it's not. But can I go back to, we spoke uh, last week, I think, about the Bare Minerals um, Gen Nude palettes. Yeah, yeah. Someone said that they're, the, they swatched them and they, I think they bought one and they want to go back and buy more because the quality, quality is, is spot fab. on. Uh, you know what? I'm really glad to hear that. Yeah. Look, I will say this. There has been one constant with Bare Minerals eyeshadows in my whole purchasing life, and that is the quality is always amazing. Yeah. Sometimes when you actually open the palette, you're like, mm, it's a bit bland. This is all very much same, same, same. Mm. Does it really need to be a 14 pan palette? Mm-hmm. But the quality is great. Yeah. And so, I have to say, they if someone said, what's your one favorite eyeshadow formula? It's probably Bare Minerals, yeah. but they just lack in uh, diversity. diversity. Yeah. I agree with so you 100%. If they're starting to bring out cool little travel palettes and they're hitting the nail on the yeah. head with uh, the formula, then... Fucking bring out more, guys. Do it. Yeah, Similar no, do it. Similar to when they brought out the Gen Nude lip products and they brought coloured versions. Yes. Bring out coloured p- versions soon. Honestly, I've been waiting for Gen Nude to do like a dual tone palette, a dual tone palette mm-hmm. in the metallic formula. You mean uh, Bare Minerals? You said Sorry. Gen Nude. Yeah. 
Sorry. Yeah. yeah. You, you get me. Minerals. You yeah. get me. Yeah, yeah, I've been waiting for that for literally like four years. Yeah. So anyway, they have to do it. They have to do it. Got to do it. All right. Last thing is from Viseart. They brought out the Petite Pro 3 palette. Now, I don't know if we have discussed this before. I remember that. Oh, I remember they brought out one recently, but yeah. it might have been the two. It might have. I'm, I don't know. I'm a bit confused. I'm a bit confused. But yeah. this is definitely a more cool toned one. They're saying that it's uh, inspired by French gardens. Mm-hmm. So you've got a lot of mauvey colors. You've got a sort of silvery color. Um, you've got a kind of green gold. So uh, once again, half mattes, half shimmers. This is great for traveling. With this palette as well, it sort of looks different in different lighting, but mm. it's yeah, it's now available at Beautylish. So if you want it, go get it. And it is, you know, a nice cool toned one if you want to travel around. Excellent. All right, the last thing we're going to do, we got some mail. We did. Oh my god, we did. from our bestie Anon. <laughs> You're like god. Oh when my I, god. When I saw this, I just laughed. I just yeah. laughed because one it's like perfect timing and the contents are perfect yeah and she just makes me laugh i feel like anon lives next door and is like listening to our every thought <laughs> not a bad thing not a bad thing we'll take but, it yeah okay so anon sent a card mm-hmm. um and i want to say what is rad about the timing was i picked this up on my birthday yeah and it is a card to me saying happy birthday yeah. like Fucking spot on. It's so cute. Such a lovely person. I thought it was so sweet. I was like, oh my god, it's a birthday card. Thank you. So cute. Um, and then we also got a, a parcel and the gun. Yeah, we got oh the god. Patrick Star, um, the second release. Yes. Yeah, so um, there's one of each. She got uh, Miso Fleek and Miso Chic. Yeah. So Kat gets to choose because okay. it's her birthday. And what was really cute, I thought this was so funny, so we got a letter with that. Um, so she said she didn't intend to send another package so soon, but a funny thing happened while I was in my local Mac store. That damn penis <laughs> signature just kept popping out at me. So that's so sweet. So thank you so much. Letting you know it arrived on my birthday. So this was such a nice surprise. And I was so like, good. I actually took my birthday off my Facebook this year because I'm like, oh, I don't want to just get like... People that don't really that you know when you get like people from like school and stuff yeah, that you haven't seen in ten years and they're like ah oh, happy birthday like I walked past you in the street and you didn't say and hello you so me. you think you anyway so I took it off so it's actually really nice to see that a few people are like oh by the it way, is it's so cute. cute it's cute so um yeah we got these little packs we won't open them at the moment no but we'll, we'll no. play with them but so yeah. thank you very much we love you we do our thank anon. you our, our anon. anon we love you thank you. All right, guys, so that's it for Beauty News. Uh, short and sweet, mm-hmm. straight to the point. Good. We will see you on Wednesday. On Wednesday. Yeah. All right. Have a good week, guys. Bye. Bye.